South Carolina has a long and tattered history of staunch racism that dates back centuries. From being the first state to secede from the Union to the half century that saw a Confederate flag fly over the state capitol building until it was removed in 2015. But for one brief moment in history, the state set themselves apart in an effort to meet the ideals of democracy. On this day in 1868, the South Carolina Constitutional Convention began. Out of this meeting came an astounding document that was well ahead of its time. Drafted just after emancipation by a group that included a significant number of formerly enslaved men, the 1868 Constitution granted black men the right to vote a full two years before the 15th Amendment. The Constitution was full of these newly freed black men now acting as delegates to offer policy. None represented this lot more than Robert Small. During the convention, Small authored a proposal for the state's first school system open to all races. After ratification, the new Constitution was later approved by the citizens of South Carolina. Most of those progressive features of the Constitution were ultimately stomped out with the rise of Jim Crow. As the experimental era of Reconstruction ended, the leaps made during this time were peeled back. A new Constitution was passed in 1895 that mandated segregation in, in education, outlawed interracial marriage, and further disenfranchised black men. South Carolina still has that 1895 Constitution till this day. Yes, the state functions on this Constitution, though it has been amended hundreds of times. While the legislation the, uh, was reversed, South Carolina's 1868 Constitutional Convention stands as an important moment in the history of black America. So today, we remember the groundbreaking strides made at the 1868 South Carolina Constitutional Convention. And that is for the culture. Thank you for watching Prime, and have a great weekend.